how to replace your light bulb on a Harley Davidson. Uh, when I went to buy these new light bulbs, I got these at AutoZone. Um, there are several different kinds. I kind of got the, the second to brightest. There's another one that's blue. Now, um, I asked the lady uh, for a light bulb for my particular bike, which is a 2004 um, Softail Deuce. And uh, she could not tell me, she had no way of cross-referencing or find out what light bulb goes in a Harley. So I went to the aisle and, I, and there's a manual there. And I went through all the years and I found my bike. And I noticed that almost every bike, like 2000 and up, or the 9003s. I'm gonna demonstrate how to replace a light bulb. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. But uh, if people can't see in, in the daylight, I don't know how much this will help, but at least uh, we can, you know, try, we gotta do something. But it's basically just one little screw here. So I'm gonna take that off. Okay. Even holding a camera in my hand. I have another video that I get a lot of hits on, believe it or not. Um, and it has to do with a how to remove and replace the radiator on a on a Ford Mustang. And I get a lot of heat about this one because uh, they tell me, uh, oh, I wish you were more specific. I wish you were more detailed. There's only six screws holding that sucker together and two hoses. I mean, and the video shows me doing the whole thing. Yeah, granted, maybe not that as detailed as possible, but come on. <laughs> I'm not replacing your radiator. I'm just showing you it's really kind of easy to do. All right, got the bezel. Now, these newer bikes, it's just a lens and a bulb inside. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the So you take this rubber grommet off. Okay, it's got this little rubber thing. Your bike may or may not have it, depending on who the previous user or maybe a uh, previous owner or maybe um, or maybe mine's been modified from its originality. But basically, from what it looks like, it looks all good. Okay. Now this is a nine zero zero three. Savannah. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, here's the the original one. All right, here we go. What try not to do is touch the element, the the bulb itself. Okay. Now, if you notice, it says Harley Davidson on the top. So this is the way up right here. And here, it has a keyway. So you just kind of put it back in there. Fold this sucker back down. And you just clip them back into that little T-lock there. Boom. Boom. Ta-da! Put the rubber grommet back on. Oh, yeah. Let's do this first. And then what I've noticed, uh, riding motorcycles for 20 years now, see the weep hole? Make sure the weep hole is facing down as well. See Harley Davidson is on the top. So move the weep hole. So if water does get in there, it weeps out. Okay? There you go. What I like doing is using some bulb grease. What this does, and you know, after writing for 20 years you realize that your light bulbs rust and dry out and then you start losing contact 
and then you're buying stuff and you don't really need to buy it so get some of this bulb grease this will help keep the oxidation to the minimum you put them on each terminal so when you plug it back in it won't dry it won't rust out and lose contact okay so then you get your plug inspect it first see if it's not rusted it looks good and then it only goes one way boom all right then you get this little washer thing you move it around to it kind of locks into place see how it has these little groups the little groups go to the grooves here okay and you put that sucker in place make sure your everything's facing up so you won't have it crooked get your bezel and put it back on now it locks from the top <coughs> I make sure it actually latches on there Make sure the eye gets it lined up. Get your screwdriver. Make sure it's lined up. There it is. Okay. I tighten it a little bit to where it hold it starts catching. Notice how it moved on me a little bit? you want to kind of make sure you're in there the, the screw might travel on you a little bit but once you get it going you can line it up and then you tighten it down ta-da make sure your headlights lined up correctly iPhone video to this that makes a big difference that's about 50% brighter than it was before and I bought a two-pack reason being I have a friend that has uh, a 2002 soft tail uh, I think it's uh, a heritage soft tail and we went halfers on these these are about 55 bucks so uh, they're a scholar and a gentleman. And a gentleman. Do you know why manhole covers are round? Negative story. Reason being, you have a square one, the lid can still fall through the hole. Any other shape, you can still fall through the hole. But ah, uh, I stabbed myself in the arm. But they're round, right? Manhole covers, so the lid never falls in the hole. Even if you, go, you can try to do anything, it still won't fall in the hole. And I guess that's why headlights around as well. Hmm. But, uh, Sounds very interesting. Hey, this is a bulb. This is not a lens, that's a bulb. So therefore, it can't So be therefore, done. um, we can't change this sucker out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my video. And um, my sole purpose here is to share my experiences with y'all. And I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up. But um, these are the kind of things that I learned over the over time, over the road. Some things I've forgotten and I re-remember. Re <laughs> but, um, you know, you see all these little cars driving around with these bright lights. And I'm thinking, why is my bike not so bright? Wow. I went and got, got me a brighter bulb. And let's see how this works out for me. Um, if there's any changes, I'll keep, keep you up to date. Um, is there, if there's anything that you have any questions about, uh, maintain your bike feel free to ask me if I don't know I can find out and I can and hopefully I can help you out and get you out of your situation and um, this is Rick with Dusty Tales get out of ride <laughs>